So today's video is going to be a Shein Curve Haul. Um, just to go over some quick um, information, this order was placed on December 13th and the first part of it, which was only two items, got here on the 20th and then on December 21st the rest showed up and that is during the Christmas rush. Um, so this is the first item I already have on right now. Of course I will step away. I struggle with the camera angles because sometimes I want you to be able to see my face and me talking and then sometimes I want to be stepped away so you can see the, the hem and the bottom so we'll have to play with that. Um, but this order, uh, one thing really quick, do not pay for shipping on Shein, do not pay full price. There is always a promo code, always a sale, and always a way to get free shipping. Sometimes there is Ebates or Rakuten percent cash back. At this time there was not, but I think it was 20% off. I put probably $500 worth of stuff in my cart and then told my husband to just buy whatever. I like this game, I'm excited when it arrives. I got to pick it out, but I don't know what's coming. So this ended up being $236, including the tax. Um, but it was uh, including some things for the kids. So I got a couple of bras, a hat, a couple of belts, um, some jewelry, and then, I don't know, five or 10 shirts and like five dresses. So um, I wanted to start with this shirt. My stats also, um, I am five foot two on the shorter side. I have a small torso, small chest, small waist, but then large arms and legs. Um, very short in the legs, five foot two again, like I said. Um, so some of these long dresses are too long. Maybe they would work on you if you were like 5'8". I don't know. And uh, I'm a 38B, 37B I would honestly say. Um, and then you know, 34 at the upper waist and about 40 at the hips, if that helps you. And yeah, I did not get any pants. Uh, the jeans you're going to be seeing are just random like loft um, jeans. Typically, I'm about a 14. Um, some of these clothes are 0x or 12 or uh, 1x 14 and some are going to be too small and that's okay. I'm kind of in the process of losing weight so we'll see. I always return on Shein and it's not a hassle. Sometimes they take a bit to get the refund to you but it's not a big deal at all. Okay, so I have my order up on my phone. I'm going to try to link everything that I can. Um, this is the Shein Plus Solid Textured Tea. These are $14 and then again there was a sale. So I don't know what they came to, but I'm gonna zoom you down a little bit. So I'll step away for a sec, but this is the, I also have a belt on, that was part of the order. Um, but it is a fitted textured tee. And again, just random jeans that, you know, I've had forever. Anyway, this belt is fully adjustable. Um, and then you just, Take this tab through the center, and you could be teeny tiny, but the chain will be very long if you were teeny tiny. But yeah, so the chain, I think, is kind of annoying, honestly. Um, it's very jingly, listen. Like, if you're just walking around, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure you can, like, loop it or something, but it's really jingly. <laughs> just something to keep in mind. Uh, but I thought this belt actually would be really good for the holidays, like over dresses, because like I said, I am losing weight and some of my dresses are just, you know, a little too big and uh, I can't really wear them anymore unless I belt them. That's pretty much my only option. Um, so I'm gonna show you this belt a little bit more in detail, but I wanna say it was under five bucks. It might've been like three to six possibly, um, very, very affordable, and I have this shirt, the Shein Plus Solid Texture Tee. Oh, it ended up being six dollars. Um, so you go, you always get a deal on there. And then the MOTF Premium Plus Textured Fitted T-shirt in mint green, the one in baby pink, the one in dark gray, and this one is in beige. They say it's kind of like an off-white. I have large arms, like I said, and it comes above the elbow, but I'm okay with this length. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you down a little bit. There, so you can kinda, I'll take off the chain as well. But it is fitted, like, they aren't kidding you. All right, here it is in dark gray. Again, pretty fitted. I'm not 
loving the way they look in the back, the back fat. Like, if that's a concern for you. I don't think I would have wanted to go up because they're supposed to be fitted, you know? And this is a good shirt for tucking. Like, if you had a cute belt on. Let's pretend for a second that I do. Like, this is cute, especially with like a little cardigan open. This would be really cute. And I like that it's not super bulky because I live in Arizona. I don't want a thick sweater. It's got that almost like a cable knit detail, but it's very thin, very lightweight. So that's it in dark gray. Here it is in baby pink. Okay, and then this is it in mint green, but it's the different version actually. This one is from the MOTF line which is like their premium line. They like wrap it in tissue paper with a fancy sticker. It's like packaged nicer. And I don't think it costs any more, but usually they do. So that's it in mint green. Almost, it, I guess it is different. In my head, they're the same, but the knitting, the cable knit is different. And they're not um, see-through, despite how thin the material is. I don't know if you can tell, but I wouldn't wear like a black bra with any of these, but I think any nude or light color would be fine. So I like these, I'll definitely keep them. And as I lose weight, I think they're lightweight enough I can continue to wear them in the spring and maybe even summer, so works for me. Okay, I have two items on. I'll show you the shirt first. I'm not sure what the sleeve length is supposed to be on this because I'm five foot two short arms and I think it's a little bit short so maybe it's a three-quarter sleeve shirt like maybe the seam I don't know maybe if I pull it down all the way I this is an awkward maybe if you have really long arms it'll be obviously three-quarter sleeved or I don't know okay so and then I have the floppy hat in my hand but I'll show you the shirt first um, this is the plus flounce sleeve tee one of the more expensive items this was normally 19 I got it for 16.33 in the shade maroon in a size 12. Um, so I think the 12 is a little small in the arms. I definitely could have used a 14. I'm not sure if it's too small, like if it, anybody else can tell that it's too small, but I think since I'm probably gonna do a return anyway, I might return this one. Uh, but I like the color. The burgundy, the maroon is really pretty. Um, yeah, I think the 12 fits my body really well. Like I said, I have a small torso, but then the sleeves are a little tight. I have a feeling we're going to find that with most of the stuff in a size 12. It's like my body up here is like a 10. Like I'm a size 10, 12, but then like here, here, and here, I'm like a 14 still. So I try to meet in the middle and get 12s and 14s. Anyway, so this shirt is fine. Um, I do honestly think I'm going to return it because it's pulling in the arms and... Uh, yeah, it's kind of a bummer, um, but I, I like it. I would recommend it. The quality seems nice. It's just not for me. Okay, this is the solid black floppy hat. Um, it came all kinds of crushed up, and it did have like a plastic insert, like a mold thing inside of it. I'm trying to like see if I can pop out some of these dents. And some of the items are not returnable. That includes the floppy hat. This is a size 57. I don't know if they came in multiple sizes, but whoops. The charger just fell out. Okay, so I have a bun in today, guys, and uh, so this hat does not even close to fit me due to my lovely bun back there. But I would say I have an average size head, so I think this will be fine once I'm not like, oh, let me see if I can squeeze my bun in there through the top. Yeah, like if I force it down over my bun, it would fit, but my bun is like sticking <laughs> It would probably be best suited for someone with a small to average head. I don't think you have like extra room in this for a large head person, but it is very soft and I don't know about the dimpling, but I imagine you can like pop it out or something. Well, now my hair looks crazy, but that's okay. Anyway, so that is the black floppy hat and that one is normally like six bucks. Yeah, and it was $4.30. Black one size fits all. So I think it's good. Um, I don't know how often I'll wear it, but I have it in beige or like camel, a different version of that. And I really liked it from Shein. And so I was like, well, you know, even for $4, if I wear it once or twice, it's still worth the money. So, or the tan one to the pumpkin patch in October. I don't know that I wore it since, but I love the color black. So thought I would get that. Okay, next top. 
Okay, this is the plus flounce sleeve Swiss dot frill trim blouse in green, a size 12. It was normally $17, I got it for $14.60. It is a dark green, it's just called green. Um, the sleeves on the model look like they hit her wrists, but again, I'm five foot two and I don't, like I don't see how that can be. Maybe they're supposed to be three quarters. I don't know, I'm confused on that, but let me know what you think. Um, but I think it looks cute with the three quarter sleeve with the little flouncy detail. Again, this is the size 12, it's got, now it said Swiss dot. Yeah, it said Swiss dot, did it not? Swiss dot, no, did it not? Plow, uh, plus flounce sleeve Swiss dot frill trim blouse. I'm looking for Swiss dots. Oh, I see. I see what it's talking about. Let me get you closer. It's really hard to tell. Do you see that trim? It has like some dots, like texture. But you wouldn't be able to tell that from any sort of distance. Um, anyway, I'm average to short size torso and it comes to like covers my front pockets on my jeans. I think this one's cute. Um, for the 12, I would say for big arms, like I definitely probably would have preferred a 14. But now that it's on, I mean, I can move and I don't think it looks too tight. I think it would be cute again with a tucked in shirt, cute belt, and then my floppy hat and booties or something. It'd be really cute. It's not like boxy, but it's, and it's not cropped, it's not too long, it's not flowy. It just kind of, it's there. So I couldn't have gone up a size, couldn't have gone down a size. I'm just not, what do you guys think? I'm like not sold on this frill. I mean, I knew that there was a frill when I chose it, but I kind of feel like it lays weird. Like there's always a wrinkle here. Like it's sewn, see what I mean? Like no matter how I, I think I'll return this one. Not for fit, but for like the quality of the sewing. Maybe it's just me. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, first I'm gonna show you this necklace. It's really pretty. I'm surprised at how like sparkly it is. I'll show you in a second. This is, why is it so hard to find? Oh, simple metal necklace, multicolor. <laughs> it's normally $1.50, we paid $1.29. It's very short, this is the longest it goes. So it's like almost choker length. Sorry for the shadow over my head. But yeah, it's a shorter one, which I actually really like because I think it'll be pretty with layered. Like this one with one longer one would have been really pretty. But for $1.29, if I wear it once or twice, fine. And you know, if it was a ring, it probably would uh, give me, like turn my finger green. I'm sure it's gonna break, but I don't mind for that price. And it says multicolor and you really couldn't tell. I'm gonna try to give you a good view of the colors. Do you see there's like a little orange bead, a teal bead? I um, hope you, you can see that. There is some color in it, but from afar, they're so dainty. Even up against solid black, like I don't think you can see that much at all, that there's color. Okay, next, for $1.29, I think that's a good purchase. Even if, like I said, I wear it once or twice, it's worth it. This is the Shein Plus Solid Square Neck Slim Tee in black, size 14, normally $12, I pay $10.31. So this is a solid square neck slim tee. Square neck, for sure. I had to like, when I first put it on, the neckline was so low that my bra was just like completely hanging out. Had to push my straps off my shoulders for my normal bra. I feel like it's off center. But, um, so I don't know. I think this is pretty, the square neck. The, the fabric on this shirt is a dream. It is so buttery soft. It's like cotton, you know, but it's like really soft. It's not see-through. Like I have to really stretch it and I still can't see through it. Um, it is so nice. The quality on this one is really pretty. I don't know about the square knock. Do you guys think that, cause I'm already broad shouldered and I have a small waist. Like, does that make me look even more broad? I feel like it does. 
Like obviously the accentuation here. <laughs> obviously the accentuation should be in how small my waist is. Like that's, that's the dream, right? That's what I want. And I can achieve that if my, I don't know. I feel like that's weird. It just makes me look really broad. It like puts all the emphasis on my broad shoulders. I'll have to see. Let me take a selfie and send it to my sister. Be like, do you think this looks terrible? Let's take a selfie. Do you guys do this too? Like your best friend or your friends? Or maybe it's like the kind of shirt that would look really good um, to just show off a piece of jewelry that was like super fancy or impressive or interesting, intricate, detailed. I don't know. Um, let me go ask my husband what he thinks. All right, he likes it. Okay, so let's look at the length real quick. So this is my belly button. I think it's, you know, top of the pockets kind of length not cropped. The sleeves may be like a tiny bit long on me, but I don't mind that at all. So I think I will keep this one. Like I said, it's begging to have like display a necklace, you know, or like three or four gold. Oh, I think it would be really pretty. So it also though, like I have to wear my, if I put my bra straps where they should go, they would show. So if you're a strapless bra person, you might really like this, but I kind of, I don't know. It's okay. So I'm going to interrupt the clothing um, talk for this is a six pack of soccer ball balloons. My four year old is starting soccer in January. So um, these were super affordable. And I thought I would just interrupt, break up the clothing with a few kid items. Um, yeah, that six pack of balloons was $1.72. So. Um, but after her first game, we, you know, she'd come home and we'd have soccer balloons for her. Um, these are, for my two-year-old, these are dog stickers. She's obsessed with puppies. These were normally $1.50, now $1.29 for 46-piece dog pattern stickers. Multicolor, one size. When this box was in there, I was like, what is that teeny tiny little thing? Like, for reference, with my hand. And that's like a flat, that's not even. So it's like a bare, for 46 stickers, I'm like, these are going to be itty bitty, but... They're actually really cute. Like they're, you know, I think I'm gonna have to sit there and peel the backing off of every single one for her. I don't think a two year old's gonna be able to handle that. But that's a really cute stocking stuffer. So, you know, keep them in mind for Easter baskets and cheap little things where you don't need them to be like sturdy and like long term, you know, a single use. Those are really cute. All right, so this is very similar to the last one, except of course it's my favorite sleeve length, which is to the, to the elbow. Don't love to show my arms, but I also live in Arizona where the long sleeves are just ridiculous. So this is a black bodysuit. I first heard about the Shein. The whole reason I started my whole Shein like love is because I wanted a bodysuit like two years ago. And uh, all of those are too big now, <laughs> like all my first round picks. And I was ordering two X's and three X's um, back then. So now they're way too big, but I will say this is the 14, so 1X, the Shein Basics Plus Solid T Bodysuit. Cottony, they're normally 13, I got it for 8.59. Again, I am five foot two, rather on the short end of things, or you know, maybe my torso is normal, but my legs are really short. I think that the fit for like the arms, the body, the, the chest, everything, really good, right? Like perfect, but the length, yeah. Little, little uh, snug, I, Either, I felt like I had to choose, like either cover my chest or have comfort in the crotch. <laughs> like you can't have, if I pull it up as high as I want in the, the body, I'm gonna show you what happened at the bottom. Yes, I have pants on, but like I'm five foot two. So if you have some height, unless you're wearing like super high waisted stuff and you wanna leave it unbuckled, you know, it's fine. Like I'm gonna keep it, but hmm. I will keep it, and I do think there's value in keeping the long sleeve black shirt and the bodysuit. I like that this one I can like actually keep my bra where it goes. I think this is good for layering, but like this is my belly button. That's about where the leg holes hit, you know? 
Like there's bare, like an inch difference between where the light poles are. So I could like, you know, and I'm five foot two, but I don't have to snap all three snaps. And it's kind of, it's not a full butt coverage. I feel like I'm getting a major wedgie. So maybe I should have sized up one, but then I feel like I wouldn't get the, the smooth shape. You know what I mean? Like this is the kind of thing I like to wear with an, a loose cardigan. I think even lately I've been really into like showcasing a cute belt. And again, part of that belt love started because none of my dresses fit anymore, and so I have to belt them or they look ridiculous. Um, but I think like even like these jeans, which don't do me any favors right here, but if I had a cute buckle or something, not necessarily like ooh labels, but you know, designer logo or something, but just a nice belt, I think this could be really cute. So I like this one, solid basic, I definitely agree with that. Okay, now we're gonna do some more soccer live. And <laughs> So these are two um, soccer bracelets for my four-year-old from the kids section. Uh, this one is all beaded. And then just like in between the black beads, there's little soccer balls. And then this one is black, like rope, almost braided. Um, and it has a soccer ball, like almost like a watch, like face, but she can't tell time. And those were super affordable. So I probably stuffed those in her stocking. Um, they were, 86 cents for the one that's like ribbons or braided. And then the other one was 86 cents as well. So that's why I was like, that's nah, fine. If she wears them once and they break, it's totally fine. And then the soccer stud earrings, she did just get her ears, let me put it right side up. She did just get her ears pierced. So I'm not sure if she can handle like the cheap earrings yet. I mean, it is, has been a month so she can switch them. But right now I'm still in the phase of like using like the really good earrings, you know, the hypoallergenic blah, 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 blah. These are normally $1.50, $1.29. So I may just wear them to her first game, like in support. Look at mommy, Wee, I'm so festive. Okay, <laughs> and then these are really cute. These are normally $2, I got them for $1.72. It's a soccer print hair band and two piece hair tie set in black and white. So there are three, like one headband and two scrunchies, I think, in here. They're very um, satiny. So there's one white scrunchie, one black based scrunchie, and then a headband that's stretchy. So this actually might be really nice to like keep her hair out of her face while she's playing. I don't know. But again, she's starting soccer and she's super excited. So they also said no jewelry for the game. So I don't think she'll be able to wear like the bracelets, but. If her hair is a ponytail, why can't she have a scrunchie? You know what I mean? Um, and then the headband is actually functional. She has to wear her earrings because I don't want them to close up. But anyway, I thought these were really cute. Okay, now we have done, I don't know, six, seven shirts, something like that. Let's get to the dresses. Oh, wait, I have two more shirts. No, one skirt. So let me really quickly, while I still have this bodysuit on, I'm going to show you the skirt. I already know it doesn't fit, but I'll show it to you. Okay. So this is the smallest size. This is a zero X size 12 in camel plus solid A-line skirt. Normally $15, it was $7.30. Dollars, I said that really weird. This is the smallest size, y'all. Just gonna let you take a look at that. So if I let it go, you'll be like, like, that's not cute, but. But that'll go back. <laughs> All right, so two more items on. On the surface, I love these. I really do. Okay, so let me give you the details, yeah. All right, um, this is the plus floral print ruffle hem dress without belt. Dark green, size 12. I guess they say without belt because all the pictures of the model have a belt with it. Anyway, it's $23 on sale for $19.75, size 12. So, I could not zip it myself, had to have my husband do that part. It is fine, I think I could pull it off, but love the belt, I'll tell you about that in a minute. The arms, again, I have large arms. If I hadn't told you that they were tight, I feel like I could pull this off. 
but they're too tight. So the dress is definitely going back, but it's also, I'm gonna pull it up so you can see the fabric. This is the underside, overside. It is that need to be ironed, like canvas, I don't know what you call it, linen-y. I'm not gonna iron it, let's just be honest. So I'm returning it. For that reason alone, I probably would have returned it. And then the belt is a steel man. So I'm definitely happy to get this. Plain plus size corset belt in black. Normally $3, it was $2.58. So I'll show you the belt on its own or right now with this. But it's, if they say corset belt, I'm not sure why. Cause it's just like this and then they, I don't know, but it's just a stretchy belt that clasps in the middle. So for $2.58, this is good because like I said, I have a lot of dresses that I can't wear anymore. Okay, so this is the belt with, or this is the dress without the belt. Like it's fine, I said. Like I said, I, I think I probably could have pulled it off, but it's just like the shoulder, I can't even pull the sleeves all the way up the arms. Like it's, and I don't iron. Even if I lost 10 pounds, I don't think I would want this dress. So I'm gonna return it, but I thought you guys would like to see the pattern too. I think it's really pretty. Kind of like a fall floral. Next. All right, so this is the next one. Also a dress, obviously. This is, I think I have three or four pink dresses. Plus daisy floral ruffle hem swing maxi dress in dusty pink, size 14. Normally $20, I got it for $17.18. Dusty pink, does have daisies on the print. So I like this one. It's really staticky. hopefully when I, can you tell? like sticking to me. Um, I think it might be kind of accentuating my pooch. I don't know. Maybe I'll, but it's really static. It's like sticking to my legs. Um, anyway, I think it would definitely need a belt. Um, since I have this one here, let's just try it with the belt. I'll let you see it without first. Okay, let's see. I like the sleeve length. I like the mauve color. So yeah, I think this one is really pretty. Uh, I don't think I would have wanted to go down. This is a 1X. I probably read the size chart. Um, I think in the body, I probably could have gone down a size, but I think they would have looked more emphasizing in the pooch. Um, and the arms would have been too tight. So I think in this dress, my accurate size is a 1X. Glad I got it. And if you didn't know, my four-year-old's name is Daisy. So I think I have a special place in my heart for daisies. And so I think she will love it. Might be like the kind of dress mom pulls out on her birthday every year, you know, kind of like a, a nod to her name, but yeah, I like this one, no regrets. Okay, this next one is called the Plus All Over Floral Print Flounce Sleeve, Flounce Sleeve Ruffle Hem Dress in Multicolor, size 12, 0X. Normally $22, I got it for $16.76. So they call this Multicolor. Um, in my opinion, the background is a dark brown, and the flowers are like dusty, I don't know, golden, white, off-white, brownish. So it honestly looks a little like 70s home decor. <laughs> but the flounce sleeve, this, I can't, I don't quite understand it. This is just a repeating theme in this video, huh? Uh, but I do, why is my pantry open? Um, I do like the sleeves. This, in a 12, a size 0X, most of the sleeves have been too small. But this one has a little bit more give. Um, but a v-neck seems like a nice quality. It's got darting, a little line under the bust and darting to the chest. And I like that. The sleeve has like a tiny bit of puff, I think. I like this one. I'll step back so you can see the bottom. Okay. 
So I'm 5'2", like at the top of my feet. Does have a ruffle on the hem. It's pretty, pretty wide. So nice enough room down here if you were worried about that. It's a little bit showing of the pooch. I think this could even, I'm just being real pregnant right now. I think this could work as like a halfway to maternity pregnancy outfit. Yeah. And I think again, ooh, let's try it with the belt. The gold might not be my first choice. I probably would do like a brown leather belt, but why not? Okay. Imagine it with my tan flappy brown, my tan floppy hat and brown booties. Could be like fall vibes for next year. I don't have a lot of brown in my, my wardrobe and I wish I did have more, so I like this. I like the neckline, it's like modest, but not like a crew neck, you know? I think this one's a win, I'll keep this one. This is a return for sure, I'll tell you about it in a second. This is the Plus Solid V-neck Rib Knit Dress. It's dusty pink, size 12, normally $17, I got it for $11.17. In theory, I like this dress. It is ribbed. Nice long sleeves. I did get it in a zero X. I don't know if getting it in a one X would have helped. It's just fitted. It's a kind of like a fit and flare. It's shorter than I would like. Tight in the arms. Like it's doing good things for my, you know, upper body, which it always does, but don't love my legs. So this one has to go back, unfortunately. I think it would be really cute um maybe a size up but i still think you know it's just not not the shape that i think it's too you know what i'm trying to say right it's not for me <laughs> the arms being so fitted you know i've got back fat it's too short i don't think it's for me but it's for somebody i bet it'd be really cute okay for some reason now i'm yellow hello don't be yellow the coloring really changed in here, but all right, this is the next one. It is the plus size floral print lantern sleeve sweetheart neck dress, multicolor 0XL12, normally $22. I got it for $9.45. Um, it says multicolor, I would say it's lavender, um, very floral pastel with pink and blue and gray and white. Um, that gives you kind of a, the elastic one is like, above my wrist, so I assume it's supposed to be three-quarter sleeve lantern, I don't know. But very pretty, and the, it says sweetheart, so it's got like a little bit of a heart there, not too low cut. It does have elastic here, but it's not like constricting at all, just kind of keep it in place. Okay, so I like the sweetheart neckline. Again, this could use a belt, but it is, um, this one doesn't have, hey Penny Puppers, hey Penny. Um, this one doesn't have like a hem, like a ruffle hem or anything, it's just straight down, there's no like seam down here for a ruffle, and no pockets, I mean that's fine, um, but yeah, I think it's three quarter sleeve and then they like kind of bell out a little with the elastic, you can kind of place it where you want it. Um, does this look like a little, little house on the prairie? I know these like prairie frontier dresses are in, but um, I think I'll keep this one for Easter. I think it's really pretty for like a spring day. Like if I have to go to a baby shower, so it would be really pretty. Anyway, the length at five foot two does not touch the ground. It's not too long, but it's definitely like, you know, around foot length. So that's very good. All right, I have one more dress and a belt and then a couple of odds and ends. I'll talk about the bras and we'll try them on. Be right back. Okay, this is the last like clothing item. All right, this is one of the first Shein items I have ever purchased, not from the plus sides side. This is like the regular Shein, not Shein curve, but I thought I could pull it off. It's a little different, it's very, very weird for me. But because it had, um, I think it, how do they describe the sleeves? Um, I don't know, they were just like flowy sleeves and I thought, okay, my torso will fit it and it didn't look tight anywhere. 
So one beef I have with this is it includes the belt, which is awesome. This is the button half belted lace dress in baby pink. This is the most expensive. This was normally $30, did not pay 30. Um, but the way that they have this pictured, it's a size four, six, a large is an eight, 10, or an extra large is a size 12. So again, this is not a plus size item. Um, the way that they have the belt on the model, these ends completely overlap and touch. There's no gap in between. So I tried to pull that belt as tight as I could get. I was like, I'm gonna get this to overlap, but I can't, I just can't. So realistically, okay, let's pretend. And I am a B cup, so like I don't have a lot of gapping. If you were large chested, I don't think you could go, you know, with your normal size. But the sleeves, even on me, like I said, are mostly like, I have size 14 arms for the most part. The 12s tend to be real tight on my arms. This is actually roomy. And the bust is fine, it's not puckering or pulling. Um, the color I love, it's long, but not too long. I really like this one. Um, it's basically got a light pink underlay, like a silky sheet, like a, what do you call those? Slip. And then it has the la, lacy overlay. So you can see through it. Um, but when you lay it down, so this is very interesting, the style. And with my hair up, it definitely is giving me like Little House on the Prairie or like Amish vibes. But let's just for a moment, I know I wouldn't take my hair down to try on the hat, okay? But when you have an Amish dress, you need some non-Amish hair. Could you guys like see it with a different belt? I don't know. I feel in the shadow that I'm getting from like my hat to my torso. It's all one color, but it looks. And I like the tiny puff sleeve details. Not much, it's a little bit. And the sleeves are sheer. It's a back zip um, and it was kind of hard to do by myself, but I got it done. Um, I will say when I took it out of the bag, as far as quality goes, I'm going to try to let you see this. This is where the belt hits. It's already snagged. That wasn't me. It was like before I even took it out of the bag. So from a quality perspective, not the best, but if I'm going to just snip that real quick and then put my own belt on top, cause obviously I can't wear that one. Um, I think this would be just fine. What do you guys think? I like the color. Okay, so now let's talk about the bras. Um, I got both of them and they have very weird sizing. I think it's like some kind of Asian sizing. Um, one of them fits, one of them is way too small. They are the same size. I don't know. And then what, the one that's too small has like denting in the cups already. Haven't even like worn it out, but I, they're not returnable. So it's fine. They were like a $6 bra and a $7 bra, not a big deal. But just something to know. I probably would steer clear of their bras. You're better off walking into Walmart and paying for the $10 or $12 bra instead, if you know what I mean. Uh, yeah. I did find one more item I forgot to mention. This is a boys all over soccer print tee in gray, a size seven to eight years, normally $10. I got it for $3.86. It says ages seven to eight. My four and a half year old can totally wear this. So. I don't know if an eight year old could wear this, honestly. I would say it's more like a size five, six, maybe, if you, I don't know. But uh, all over soccer print tee, like I said, she's like really into soccer right now. Um, and I just, off the field, you know, I just want her to have that option in her closet. So she would wear this with like a pink bow and pink pants, cause that's how she is, sparkle, glitter, but soccer. Ninja, superheroes, but unicorns and painting her nails, you know ears pierced but like passing the ball around you know ninja but girly whatever it's awesome and i did also get two hair bows and i'm not sure if i'm gonna wear them or if i'm gonna let the kids wear them let me show them to you so a lot of their accessories come in these like little plastic bags um which is nice i guess anyway these are the alligator clip type, I don't know if you can tell, but you would like, imagine this on like a four-year-old. 
not on me. <laughs> I think they are meant for kids. I mean, they're just sold with like the regular accessories, but I think that could be really cute on a little girl. Like, obviously not on this hair. <laughs> okay, so that is everything in my Shein haul. Let me know what you guys think. I think I'm gonna return five items, maybe six or seven of like the 30. So not my best haul, not my worst. Um, let me know down below what are your favorites and if you guys have gotten anything recently that you think I need to check out, let me know and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.